The Autumn Joy Live Show is sponsored by Everything Legendary, where plant-based is oh so good. For more information, visit our website at golegendary.com and follow us on social media. Sobe Restaurant and Lounge is a proud sponsor of the Autumn Joy Live Show. Sobe, surpassing the ordinary in Prince George's County with superior service and a distinguished and inspired menu. What's your favorite TV show? I'm Joy Life. What's your favorite TV show? I'm Joy Life. Oh my gosh! Oh! What? And DJ Dirty Red? Hey, Live Squad! Hi! Oh my goodness! Hello! Hi, everyone! We're back! Oh my goodness, I have to let you all know what I've been up to, but before I do that, can y'all please give it up for my DJ, DJ Dirty Reds, up here doing his thing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, um. DJ Dirty Reds, thank you so much for being my DJ today. What's your social media real quick? Where can we find DJ, you? DJ, hashtag DJ Dirty Reds. Yeah, and let me tell y'all something. He is booked and busy, okay? So mm -hmm. if you need a DJ, I can vouch for him, all right? Thank, thank you so you, much. You. Of course, I gotta let you guys know what I have been up to since the last time we talked. I had the distinguished honor of playing King Herod's sister, Salome, in the Christmas hip-hop musical called Your Majesty. Now, it's a story about the birth of Jesus and Herod the Great's rise to being king. Huge shout out to my acting coach, Mark McKinnon, and the City of Praise Drama Ministry, and all of the talented actors in the production. And the Autumn Joy Live experience, I think I told you about this, DJ Dirty Rights, because you're gonna be one of my guest DJs uh, at the January one. Yes, so the Autumn Joy Live experience is something that we rolled out uh, during the summertime where we go to different businesses and we help promote the business, right? And so the Autumn Joy Live experience is still going strong. We have a residency current, uh, currently at Nissan of Bowie. They're located at 2200 Crane Highway. Make sure you come and check us out on our remaining dates, January 13th and the 20th, and you're gonna be at the 13th uh, date. All right, we are going to be joined by the owner of Nissan of Bowie, my guy, Damon Lester, so stay tuned for that. Tis the season of giving back, so the Auto Joy Live Foundation partnered with the Solid Foundation, DXT Therapeutic Services, and Progressive Life Center for the first annual Christmas party for foster children and their families, and y'all, it was amazing. All right. Oh, did you all notice that my, my baby bump is gone? I had my baby! Oh my gosh! I almost forgot to mention that. Yes, baby Richard Lee is here. The last time you all saw me, I was tugging around the baby bump. So yes, he is here. He was born September 26th at 2.05 a.m. And y'all, he was born naturally with no epidural, okay? Mm, I don't know how I did that. Yeah, look, the ladies in the crowd like, oh girl, how'd you do that? I don't know either. Also, my clothing line, as you can all see, the Live Squad brand, can y'all see that? Oh, yep. <laughs> This is just one of the dresses that are gonna be available, the Live Squad clothing line that's gonna be coming um, in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna have sweatsuits, sweatshirts, dresses. It's gonna be amazing. So I'll make sure that I give you all of those details. You can catch them on my social media at Autumn Joy Live. All right, are y'all ready to get this celebration going? It's the holiday season. So don't go away. Coming up next, I have got my local love segment. Don't move. Woo, DJ Dirty Reds. Let's go. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. <laughs> Welcome back. My local love guest is a local entrepreneur that is a trailblazer in the car industry. He is the owner of Nissan of Bowie and one of two black owners of a car dealership in the DMV. Live Squad, let's give a warm welcome to L Damon Lester, owner of Nissan of Bowie. Yeah. <laughs> so Hello, my you. friend. Good. So good, good to see you as well. You. Have a seat. Welcome. Uh -huh. Welcome. 
Welcome to my hum my humble abode. This is nice. Yeah, I've been to your your dealership multiple times. Multiple times, yeah. And now you're here on my talk show set. Yep. So welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Of course. You know, Damon is a really good friend of mine, you all, and such a wealth of knowledge when it comes uh, to the car industry, so much so that he's highly sought after and has to catch a flight like 30 minutes after he leaves <laughs> here um, for another conference he has to speak at. So thank you again for taking time to talk to us. Anything you need. Yeah. yeah. But let's talk about your humble beginnings because being one of only two black owners of a car dealership in the DMV yep. is insane, especially in 2023. But it's not surprising. Yeah. We're still seeing a lot of firsts for everything when it comes to black folks. So how did you do it? Oh, wow. Well, Prior to me owning the dealership, which I purchased two years ago, um, I was president of the National Association of Minority Auto Dealers, which is about two doors down from here. Mm -hmm. And um, NAMAD's mission is to increase the number of minority dealers in the country. So out of the, there's, there's 18,000 new car dealerships in the U.S., of which only 1,200 are owned by ethnic minorities. That's African American, Asian, Latino, and Native American. Mm -hmm. And so within the state of Maryland and Virginia, there's about 700 dealerships, mm -hmm. of which you know a lot, lot of them are larger name groups that you may have known and support. Um, there, but there are only two out of 700 in the whole state of Maryland. Wow. And so our, our goal is to grow. Our goal, the, the challenges we've always had is just access to capital and, and having opportunities to, to obtain stores. Mm. So I've been blessed to, to purchase Nissan Abuy two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Y'all give it up for that, man. Yeah. I mean, look, that's amazing. Thank you. That's amazing. So what are some of the, the misconceptions that people have for, you know, when you, you think of a car salesman, you think somebody kind of sleazy, trying to sell you something that's yeah. not, you know, snake oil, if you will. But what are some of the misconceptions? You know, you just, you just nailed it, right? <laughs> you, people, people have this anxiety of going to the dealership. And, and I would say with us and the culture that we're trying to bring forth to not just my staff, but also to our customers, um, either existing or, or, or future customers, is that we are a place that you can trust us, mm -hmm. that, but we have to pr provide the culture and environment that you can trust us. Mm -hmm. And so the history of, 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 of car dealerships is that we're trying to get over it. And, and we are your, your advocate. Mm -hmm. We're the one to try to get you into the vehicle that you can afford. And we just want to make sure we can service you. And, and so the issue is we want to make sure we have repeat customers and lower customers to us so we can continue to grow our business. Yeah. And you're, like I said earlier, you're, not, you're highly sought after when it comes to uh, speaking on, on a large platform. I've seen quite a few of your speaking engagements and mind completely blown of just the, the little nuggets that you've been able to share. Um, so, so talk about being set apart like that and being highly sought after. While I was president of the association, uh, NAMAD, um, I did a a lot of diversity, equity, and inclusion um, speaking because I was an advocate for supporting the increase of minority dealers. And as a result of that, I became this expert, and, and I am an expert in the auto industry, and, and I'm pretty much doing a lot of the discussions dealing with DNI, also around the fuel economy, EVs, which are now becoming more popular and more prevalent on the roads now. And, and so I talk about these challenges, particularly how it affects the minority community, which we typically don't have access to. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, there's another huge honor that I always lead with whenever I introduce him to folks. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? He was named Time Magazine's Dealer of the Year. <laughs> what? <laughs> modest about it like you would never if, if that was me I would have a t-shirt made I would have a magnet on the side of my car you wouldn't be able to tell me nothing yeah. but but talk about that that is such a distinguished honor yeah that's that's actually out of 50 um, dealers um, I was elected amongst um, the dealers within this area to to represent the state of Maryland and um, it's a huge honor it's a huge accolade particularly with me being in the business for two years of owning um, so it's a, it's a testament to hear from my peers that you know they look at me as a peer mm -hmm. now and also as an owner who happens to be minority and and, and that's a good accolade to, to see so in february i don't know if i actually win but yeah i am a time magazine dealer award winner yeah, yeah. you're you're gonna win as far as i'm concerned that's right he's a winner right y'all <laughs> Now, Damon, before I let you yeah. go, we, we've got to talk about, you know, some, some of the things that you've got coming up on the horizon. I know there's a few things we can't mention, right. but you've definitely got some stuff that's happening, and I want the world to know. Yeah, we're growing. Um, I will have about four other stores coming up within the next year, two years. And, and, uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. And there's, there's a huge acquisition that I'm working on right now, and hopefully that comes to fruition. But uh, 
yeah, we're going to grow. The group is called Lester Automotive Group, and but right now own Nissan and Bowie, and it's definitely four more stores coming. So yes, today. don't give it up for that. Yeah. And don't forget the Autumn Joy Live Experience will be at Nissan and Bowie. We've got a residency there again. Right. Thank you so much for allowing us to come and hang out. We have so much fun with yeah. with Damon and, and his employees. They love coming and dancing and having a good time. So make sure you check us out. We've got two more coming up in January. We've got the dates on my social media as well as on Damon's and Nissan of Bowie's. Shout out the social media really quickly. Oh, Nissan of Bowie, um, dot com and the Instagram is Nissan dot of Bowie. It's our IG account. Yep, yep. that's it. Yep. All right, yep. Damon Lester. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thank my you. friend. <laughs> Okay, so listen, if you haven't started your holiday shopping, we have some great gift ideas for you coming up next. Don't move. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The American Red Cross blood supply is at historically low levels this winter, and we're facing a dangerous situation. Hospitals and patients are counting on donors to get the blood they need. Make a life-saving appointment today. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Oh! Oh my goodness, okay, welcome back. I gotta, I gotta shout out DJ Dirty Reds, man. He is doing it and keeping my audience lit. I love that. And you know what else I love? Oh, I just love this time of year. If this is your favorite time of year, make some noise for me real quick. Okay. I mean, everything is decorated and so festive. People are online or, or at the mall shopping. But if you're anything like me and you have a list that's this long <laughs> and you don't know what's hot and what's not this holiday season, well, my next guest is celebrity stylist, personal shopper, and CEO of the Shelly Roy brand, Live Squad. Please give it up for my girl, Shelly Roy. <laughs> hey, mama. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Yes. Happy holiday, everybody. Okay, so girl, I, I literally have not gotten, have you all done your, your Christmas shopping yet? Anybody in the audience? Oh, look, they like, nope, not yet. Have you done your Christmas shopping? I have started. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, well, I need help yes, because I, I have you. no idea where to start. But before we get into these amazing items, we got to talk about Shelly Roy. Yes. Because isn't she fabulous, y'all? I mean, so fabulous. Thank you. So you're a celebrity stylist. You're a CEO of your own brand. So talk about your start. I am. So thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. I'm yeah. super excited. So as you mentioned, I am Shelly, Shelly Roy of the Shelly Roy brand. Um, I am a talk show host. I am a fashion designer. Well, hey, girl, we got that in common. <laughs> yes, okay. Do. Hey. Sister Kendra. <laughs> Sister Kendra, for sure. Um, I'm also a fashion designer and celebrity wardrobe stylist, and I'm also an author. And so I also have a fashion and luxury concierge service Ooh. where I also do image consulting, and I do wardrobe consulting as well as glam from hair, makeup to mm -hmm. photography. So I want everybody to walk away with an overall experience. Yeah. So when you love fashion as much as I do, I make every day my runway. Yes, girl, and <laughs> she's a fashionista. Let me just tell you all, when I first met Shelly, it was her fashion that drew me to her. I, I literally had this, I was like, who is this woman? I, I need to figure out who you are right. and, and bring you close to me yeah. because I, I loved everything that you represented. Yes. So let, let's get into some of the items that you that you brought today. So what do we have right over here? Because this looks very cozy and comfortable. Right? <laughs> so perfect segue. So I am all about fashion and comfort. Mm -hmm. comfort. Who says that you can't have both? Be right. fashionable, cute, and comfortable. Mm -hmm. So to what you just said, being comfortable. Yeah. So we have this this cozy fleece. Ooh, Feel it. This, it's really, really soft. Oh, I'm this into is, this. Okay. You can, right? And it's also crop. Yeah. It's so oh, comfortable. I love it's a good soft. crop. Okay. Yes. It accentuates the curves. And, and so you and can throw that look, over your bodysuit. I love that. Okay. You know? And okay. it's also, you can layer this. Okay. And it's really, really cute. Isn't uh, it? I love that. Oh, who Very loves a good soft. fleece? Y'all love a good fleece? Right? I love a good fleece. Yeah. Okay. Right? Okay. And anybody who knows me knows how stylish I am. So <laughs> we have to have yeah. the tote bag ah, with the fleece, right? I love this. And okay. so this is a must have. Mm. This is a great holiday gift because you can use this for everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Laptop, 
cell phone charger, yeah. cell phone, yeah. all of your essentials. Yeah. So these are my favorite. Yeah. And I think you, along with the, the audience, would love Absolutely. this Absolutely. Well. And I can use this as a diaper bag. Okay. That's true. Yeah, I, That's I can, true. I can put my baby's essential in, in here. I can put his diapers, his bottles, you and baby his essentials. Change, clothes, everything right in here. Exactly. Okay? I exactly. love that. Okay. So if this is the kind of look that you're going for, you can just grab this from, from anywhere and not you break can. the bank, right? Because this does not look like it's going to break my pocket. The so. price points are very reasonable. You can pick these items up just about anywhere. Who likes a good budget? Who likes a good sale? A good, a good find? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on because I got these heels on, girl, and I'm I'm tempted to put these on right now. They I mean, that's how comfortable these look. Listen, <laughs> I have what you need. These are very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So again, we're all about fashion and comfort. And I don't know about you guys, but this season, the fur slides, the fur mules, mm -hmm. amazing. And then they have come in different colors. Yeah. So you can transform any outfit with yeah. these as well. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're just wanting to cozy up, when yeah. you've come home from work, when you just want to cozy up and watch a movie. These are so comfortable. And again, they pair well yeah. with your other fleece and your other comfortable items. Yeah, I was going to say, I could put these inside of though in there, so that way if I'm walking around with my heels on, exactly. pow, I can pull these out and I'm good to go. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. All right, now can we get into these glasses? Who loves a good funky pair of glasses? I'm, I mean, I love a good statement eyepiece, if right? you will, and so I'm just like drawn to these. So You're let's talking talk about my language. Those. Yeah. You're talking my language. So these are really funky. These are one of my favorite mm -hmm. must-haves. So you don't necessarily have to go as bold and vibrant as this, but I think everyone should have a nice pair of go-to sunglasses mm. as a gift yeah. or in their closet. So for me, this will add that pizzazz oh, and this will spice up. I love that. Okay. <laughs> Any outfit. I love that. So this is one of my favorites. Yeah, it, it has no lenses sure. in there too. So no if, lenses. And, and I, I need that because I've noticed that a lot of times with these glasses, sometimes with the lenses, it's, it, it makes your eyes do like something a little funky with it. It does. You know what it I does. mean? It does. I know what and you so mean. so I love that. Yeah, okay. those are perfect. Perfect. And let's get to like a little, a little clutch, a little purse. Now I have recently gotten into like the smaller purses because I used to be like the big, you know, bag lady rolling around with the big bag. Me so too. Let's Let's talk about the, the smaller ones and, and why it's necessary. Oh my God. These are my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna start with this pink one here. Anyone who knows me knows that I love color. Mm. Color is my biggest thing. So this is one of my favorites that you can have for everyday wear, yeah. but I absolutely love it for travel. Okay. This pairs as a lipstick case, mm. eyelash case, um, gum, yeah. keys, I like my credit cell phone charger, too. Yeah. everything. Yeah, it's and it's cute and dainty. How cute you know is what that, I mean? Right? Isn't that cute? That is. That's adorable. Okay. So cute. Absolutely yeah. love it. Okay. Then we got this nice blue jean oh one God. here. That is absolutely adorable. So this is. You can carry it as a little clutch, and it also pairs as a crossbody. Oh. And you can also transform it into. A belt bag. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've seen people yes. do that with the little Absolutely. belts. Okay, so when you're going to like the club or um, like sports sporting events, they don't let you bring in like those big, huge bags. Exactly. So this is perfect. You hold your phone in your and hand you and have your cards there. And fashionable. Yes, and I love this studded piece. Isn't yeah. that cute? Oh, it's got like a little buckle for your belt there. That is the same thing. Okay. So there's okay. different options in terms of the clutch that pairs as a belt bag and a crossbody, but again, adding that pizzazz to any outfit. So this is the exact same thing. Yeah. You can transform this into a crossbody crossbody bag okay. or belt bag. Okay. Absolutely love I it. I love that. Okay. Well, listen, if you have not figured out what you're getting your loved ones for the holiday season, my girl Shelly Roy has got you covered. Now, before we go, yes. I have been eyeballing that uh, that mink piece over Isn't there. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she? I mean, can, can I go pet her? Yes. Can I? Yes, can I hear, let, let's, yes. Let's, go, let's, go, let's go talk to her. Yes. She's sitting here all lonely. Can, can I pick beautiful? her up? Yes, for uh, sure. Can. What's her name? Does she have a name? Uh, does, uh, shouldn't she have a name? How beautiful is this? Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? Can we get into this piece? Okay, so yes. how can I style this? So what I wanted to do and what I have been getting asked is, what are some ideas in terms of what I can wear for the holiday? Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be able to demonstrate how you could just, if you don't mind. Yes, no, please, I'll hold um, I'm gonna, thank you yeah, so much. You. Mm -hmm. So if you're going into the office, this is something simple for the office, office wear. Okay. And then I can easily transform it into holiday. Okay. By throwing this crush velvet. Okay, jacket that on all top. together. I see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now it's giving fancy. All yeah. right. I can step into a corporate party, a corporate function. Okay. And then help me out. Ooh, you ready you. for the hot sauce? I'm ready. I'm ready for the hot sauce. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, girl. Go out there Bam. and show the audience. Show them, show them what you're working with. Bam. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ooh. That's what I'm 
I'm talking about. That's how you go to fabulous quickly. I love that. Shelly Roy, thank you so much for thank joining you so us. Much. You all give it up for my girl Shelly Roy. Thank you so much, my dear. Shout out to social media really quickly. Where can we find you? You guys can find me at Shelly Roy, C H E L L E Y. ROI on all social media handles, Instagram and Facebook. You can also check me out on ShellyBossUp.com and YouTube. All right. Thank you. Yes, okay. Oh, wait. The party is not over yet, okay? What's the holidays without a little cheer? We have mixologist in the house. She is going to mix up some of your favorite cocktails, so don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today's cancer research is tomorrow's victory. A victory that is there for the taking. Grab it. Now that was a great halftime speech. Let's go win. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. to DJ Dirty Reds, doing his thing during commercial break, keeping me in the audience jamming. Okay, so my next guest is a true trailblazer. She is the owner of the only black female-owned bar supply company in the United States. And she so happens to be a damn good mixologist. Live Squad, let's give some love to Danielle Edwards from Beyond Happy Hour. Come on out. Hi, Mama. Come on. Come on. Hey, girl. I'm good. Let's get to this. Thank you. Okay, let's get into the shirt. It says, be nice to the bartender. Bartender, Santa is watching. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. He sees about. when you're not tipping. Yes, he sees, he when, you're sees not tipping. when you're not tipping. I love that. <laughs> oh, Danielle, thank you so much for joining me thank you for having on the me. show today. Um, who knows that with Christmas goes good libations, right? I mean, when you got to deal with those family members that you just can't stand, you need a little something, something you need a to help. take off the edge. Absolutely. Insert my girl, Danielle. <laughs> but congratulations and kudos for being uh, the only African-American-owned uh, was it bar supply? But on mm -hmm. the on the in, in wow, that, mm -hmm. that's amazing. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so okay. where are we? Where are we starting first here? Okay, well we're gonna make two holiday cocktails today. Okay, okay. the first cocktail we're gonna make is called the Mary Martini. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, I like it. <laughs> the Mary Martini. So that drink consists of a little bit of Kettle One. Mm -hmm. It's going to have some pomegranate, diluted pomegranate juice in it. It's going to have some homemade ginger simple syrup that I made myself. And it's going to have a little bit of roses lime juice. Okay. okay? And I would like for you to, to make it with me. Okay. Okay. So. so I gave you a training wheels shaker, okay? So your okay. shaker has a three-part system to it. I do need it. a training wheels shaker, right. okay? I have more okay. of the classic, I have more of the classic Oh, tin. you got the professional yeah. one. Okay, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a nice little scoop full of ice. Okay, you, I'll, I'll use a yeah, scoop. Yeah, you might wanna use a scooper. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me scoop some ice here in my training wheel shaker. Your training wheel shaker. Okay. These are more, you see more of these shakers with people that have home bars. Yeah. You don't see them too much in the professional setting. Okay. All right, now we're gonna take our jigger, which oh, is... Oh, is that what these are called? These are called the jiggers, right? These this, are called the measuring thingamajiggies. The, 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 I didn't know these had a name. Did y'all know these well, had a name? They I have a jiggy, jigger. There you go. I'm getting jiggy with my jigger. Getting hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes. So on the one side of your jigger is one and a half ounces, and on the other side is an ounce, okay? okay. Now, <laughs> I like to get into the Christmas spirit, so we're going to use that Three. one and a half ounce side, right? Here we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do two of the one and a half ounce sides, okay. so which is going to equal... Three ounces. Okay. All right. Make sure I can pour it like you. Hold on. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. oh Lord. See, look, I told you I need, I need a training wheels bottle. Now too. let's pour it over okay. oh. here. That's oh, what your that catch mat sense. is for. Okay, here we go. There you go. Girl, look at me over here making a mess. It's all right. Terrible. It's okay. That's what the catch mats are for. Okay, you said two or three. <laughs> <laughs> this is your show. It's your drink. <laughs> All right. The next thing we're going to use is some homemade ginger simple syrup. Okay. okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to flip my jigger over to the one outside, and I'm going to put a full ounce of ginger simple syrup in there. Okay. And it's easy to make at home. Simple syrup is just one part sugar, one part water. I cut a fresh ginger root and put it in there, let it boil, okay. and then I let it sit overnight, strain it out. Okay. okay. 
Next thing we're gonna use is some pomegranate. It's diluted pomegranate juice. Mm -hmm. Now pomegranate is a winter fruit, mm -hmm. but the juice can be very off-putting sometimes, uh -huh. okay? So this is two parts pomegranate juice to one part distilled water. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flip that jigger back over. Flip them back over. And we're going to put in uh, one and a half mm -hmm. ounces of that okay. as well. All right, in my okay. turn, I'm gonna hold it over. There you go. Oh, Pour it like a pro. Me, Yay! <laughs> Pour it like a pro. Awesome. And the last thing we're going to use is a little bit of roses, sweet and lime juice, just okay. to give it just a little bit of a citrusy bite. Okay. So I'm going to do half an ounce. So we're going to flip it back over that one outside and just okay. pour half, okay? Okay. Because we don't want to make it too citrusy. Okay. So half, one, two, one, two, half. Okay, bam. All right. Ow, there we go. Okay. Bam. Got that? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, you can put your jigger down. Now okay. we can go ahead and take your top and put it on top just like that. Okay. Make sure it's secure so you hold, just like you're holding it with okay. your index finger. Like All right, and now we're gonna give it a nice 12 count shake. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, six, 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 six. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay. And you can dance with it, you can dance around with it. <laughs> All righty, so you'll go ahead and well, you don't have to do all that. Oh, okay. You can just pop your top off. <laughs> I'm doing what you there, do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, you're going to take your martini glass okay. and place it directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. And you can just hold on to this part right here so it won't, and just pour directly into okay. your drink. Ooh, that sounds... <laughs> Y'all are so silly. <laughs> ah. ah. You forgot that part. <laughs> okay. All, all right. righty. Now, we're going to take... A lime wheel that already has a nice little gold bulb on it. You okay. want that one? And yes. you just stick it right into your cocktail. Because okay. you know the colors for the Christmas season are normally green, red, and a little bit of gold. Right? Ah. And there you go. And here's your Merry Martini. Merry Martini. Cheers. <laughs> now I'm going to taste my concoction to see how it goes. Oh, that's good. Okay. I did a good job with that. You did a great job. Okay, we got a couple more minutes. Let's get into the last one. All right. So the next drink we're going to be making is called the Golden Spirit, okay? Now, what is the holiday season without champagne, mm. correct? All right. Everybody loves the little bubbles, whether it is going to be on Christmas evening or New Year's Eve. We all like a little champagne, right? Okay. But this drink has a little twist to it, Ooh, all right? Like a twist. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our champagne flute, mm -hmm. and we're going to dip it into some agave syrup, oh. all right? And from the agave syrup, we're gonna dip it into some gold sanding sugar. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's real fast. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. Hold on, let me hurry up because I want some on my. Mind. Wait, and you know what, too, Autumn? We oh. forgot to put some pomegranates in our cocktail. Oh, it's all good. It's we all good. We can eat them separate. There you go. Side. Okay. All righty. Oh, mine looks lumpy. Is it okay? No, no, no. That's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, good, perfect. Good, good. Perfect. Okay. All right. So this drink, of course, has a little twist to it because we're going to add some bourbon. Ooh, who likes yes. bourbon? Who's the bourbon? We're going to do okay. bourbon. So okay. the bourbon we're going to use today is Knob Creek. This is 100 proof. So oh, if someone has a two-month-old, you might want to take it a little yeah, easy. I'm going to take it slow. You might want to oh. take it a little easy. <laughs> However, I'm a seasoned pro, so <laughs> we're going to go straight to the one-and-a-half-ounce side for myself. And see, this is exactly how we want that glass to look. With oh, the, how it's dripping down? Yes. Like that. So you can put in however much you want. I'm gonna just put in a little bit. Oh! <laughs> more, 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 more. Okay. Next we thing we're gonna use is a little bit of elderflower liqueur. Okay. So my favorite one is Saint Germain's. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put half of what I put in for the bourbon. Okay. All right. We got about a minute. So All righty. We can do here. And while you're pouring that, I'm gonna get the party started. Let's get the party started. Woohoo! Opa! Uh -huh. Oh yeah. I'm and then about. we're gonna tilt our champagne glass and just fill her right on up. Okay. Ooh. Until you don't want to get all the way up to the rim. You want to have that clear definition. That oh, okay. look at yours. I know. Yes. It's looking real festive. Okay, pour slowly oh. and pour on the side because oh. the carbonation See, look, is gonna. It's been a while, y'all. It's, it's been a while for champagne. me. Okay. Ooh. Awesome. And that's it. Okay. That is totally. Isn't it. that beautiful? Look at yeah. that. How we just did that on its own. Okay, so let's toast it up. Cheers. All right. Let's taste it. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's real crunchy on the top. Mm. I like crunch. I like the crunch. It's the sanding sugar, and oh it's completely edible. Oh. It's 100% edible. Danielle, yes. thank you so much You're for welcome. this. You're Are you, you guys going to try these drinks? I know you will, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. What an amazing show. Wow. I want to thank all of my 
guests for joining me today. My guy, Damon Lester, the owner of Nissan of Bowie. My girl, Shelly Roy from a Shelly Roy brand. And of course, Danielle Edwards from Beyond Happy Hour. <laughs> and of course, DJ Dirty Reds, my DJ. And my amazing live squad, my audience. Thank you so much. Just wake up every morning, gorgeous. She's a butterfly, just floating and looking for something to land on. Five, five, four.